Today IT took a major place in this modern world. Everywhere a number of software is being used. Have you ever wondered how software is developed? What are phases are crossed while developing a software? Phases while developing a software called as Software Development Life Cycle, SDLC, is a process used to design and develop a high-quality software. SDLC consists of a detailed plan as how to develop, build and enhance a specific software. There are seven phases in Software Development Life Cycle. They are Requirement Analysis Feasibility Study Design Coding Testing Deploy Maintenance Each phase of the SDLC life cycle has its own process and deliverables that feed into the next phase. Requirement Analysis Most important phase in software development life cycle in which all the information is gathered from customers, users and other stakeholders. This phase gives the clear picture of the scope of the project. Planning and risk factors are collected which helps to finalize the timeline boundary of the project. Feasibility study. The next phase is to examine the feasibility of the system. The main aim of feasibility study is to how to achieve the scope. Feasibility study types are. Economic feasibility. Whether the project can be completed within the budget. Operational feasibility. Whether the problem can be solved with the existing and proposed system in the user's environment. Organizational feasibility. Can the project be handled consistently with the company policies slash objectives? Technical feasibility. Can the problem be solved with the present computer system and the resources available? Schedule feasibility. Whether the project can be completed within the given time frame or not. Design. SRS, Software Requirement Specification, is the reference document used in this phase. System and software design documents are prepared. Two kinds of design documents are prepared in this phase. High-level design and low-level design. In high-level design, we include list of modules, brief description and functionality of each module. Database tables are identified with their key elements. Complete architectural diagrams are defined. In low-level design, functional logic of module are detailed. Database tables with their type and size. Listing of error messages are also done. Coding. When modules are assigned, developers start coding. Unit test cases are also being written to test. Review each other's code, builds and deploy software. Testing. Once, the software is complete. The testing team then checks the functionality of the system as per the design documents shared with them. During testing phase, QA and testing team may find some defects. The development team fixes the bugs and send it back to QA with the updated design document, if needed to retest. Deployment. The main phase of deployment stage is to put the solution in the production environment. The product must be tested in a real environment. User acceptance testing. The product first must be deployed in the staging environment. If there are no issues then the code should be deployed to production environment for client feedback. Maintenance. The users start using the developed system. Once the system is deployed, in this phase, some issues are discovered and it is important to resolve them. Bug fixing, if any, upgradation and enhancement of some new features are done in the maintenance phase. This all about software development life cycle. For detailed information please visit.